Hello, and welcome back to the Factorio Beltless Bot Maze. We are going to do something a little different today. So this is my um, construction site. And this has been pretty much untouched for a while. Now, these are the laps. And I'm going to do something a little bit hasty, which is to deconstruct them. Because now that we're building off-site stuff, I don't want to be doing research here. So let's get it all deconstructed, and then let's request all the labs. So I've, cra I've handcrafted a few labs, but let's request all of them. That's probably enough. And I just did it again, I pressed E. Because that's the universal gesture for I'm done editing this. Alright. So that should be on the way. 30. I think that's a good start. We can always handcraft some more. Okay, there's some. Brilliant. Um, later on we will tidy up the... Um, science pots themselves. For now, I think we can just deconstruct all these science builds. There we go. Now, um, you may hear some fan noise and you may notice my machine is running slow. Uh, at the moment, because we're working from home, this machine doubles up as my work machine. And uh, I'm a um, computational geneticist, bioinformaticist by trade. My computer runs a lot of um, high CPU science crunching, and it's currently doing various computations which are basically stressing out the system. Um, how are we doing? Is that all reconnected? Yeah. So uh, everything's a bit jerky. Uh, but it should be okay. Have we done all of the science? No, we forgot the purple. Let's. Oh, and there's some red over here. All right. I still don't have any personal robots. I'm beginning to think maybe I should get some, but um, I'm not really sure. All right, so I think we can take out... Take this out a bit carefully, because I would like to still have a lot of the things being built. Good. Like, I still want rail, for example. Um, right, so this bit can go... This can go... This bit can go, and this bit can go. Then I can lose the... Purple pot containers. Good. All right, so I think that is all the science stuff here undone. And everything running again. Brilliant. And I will retire all these red circuit builds once the uh, train-based ones start to behave, which they are not currently. So we are now going to go to our science site. And what I did between episodes, we were down to uh, five electric mining drills, mining this mixed poor ore patch that was here. So I, there you are, here. So I um, babysat it until it had finished. We now have this dead end. It's our first dead end. We'll see what we can do with it. So I would like to make this labs. I'd like to make this research and be honest I don't know quite how I'd like to do it so one option is to basically daisy chain some labs and we can daisy chain them several deep and we could daisy chain them either side of a central rail uh, if we did that let's put the rail 
in the middle. Don't know if that's in the middle. All right, so we'd have something unloading a train, then a lab. Oh, sorry. Then a box, then a lab. Right, then we could stack them three deep that side. Then a similar arrangement here. I know this isn't quite what it's gonna look like when it's done, but. Okay, so that bumps into our infrastructure. Let's take a copy of this. I just want to see if it would fit in anywhere. So if that's hard up against, no. So the best we can do is two laps that way. Okay, so this is using standard inserters, but we have Bob's inserters. So we don't have to use standard inserters. Um, all right. So if I had two labs by the train, I could then take my next two labs and offset them by one square, then offset these by one square. Because uh, I just need two inserters. One's going to feed straight through, the other could feed between those two. So that's a lot more compact. So if we go back to finding our middle, which I think is here. All right. So this would need to be, that actually fits in quite nicely, doesn't it? If we squeeze it there, we could put one more in. Mm. Three there and Ah, that still bumps into the rubber port. So we can only do labs too deep. I think that's what we've discovered. All right, so that would be um, two labs per chain carriage, which is eight labs per side of a train. And then it's uh, up to us whether we have labs on both sides of a train or on one side of a train. I think I'm going to go with both sides. All right. And then there's another issue, which is... All right, so I bring that up. So we have six different types of science. So let's... Plus space science. So let's imagine we're unloading the train like this. All right, so that's our six pots. And then we would need a bonus for space science. So that's our seven pots. Then um, we have our two laps. All right, so for these to be fed, they need to input seven inputs into each one. And obviously, I can only realistically put three into each one. Now, I could do something like that to pass them backwards and forwards, but that's going to tend to go wrong. So what's the alternative? So I could have one lab here and then I unload seven arms for the seven types of research into these into this one lab. Uh, 
and then I put two labs there. So that's three labs. Then I do a similar thing here. Okay, that might work. Uh, that's too far out, isn't it? That's... Okay, so there'd be insert a spaghetti here, and I need to upgrade all of these inserters to stack inserters. So that's 10 labs per train carriage. So that is 40 labs per train, which is a sensible number. So what do we think of this? I think this works. We'll have to find some way to get power poles through. Okay. I think some variant on that. Good. Then we could add some lights. Then we need to set up all the inserter magic. So this needs to pick and drop. Okay, and then this one is weird. It needs to pick and then drop. Yep. So this is the space science one. Good. Okay, so that's all hooked in. I want to get this blueprint done uh, and then we can uh, then we can stamp it down properly. All right, so this is going one, two, three, four tile. Does that reach? No. Okay. And just in case, put this down. That doesn't have a longer reach. So this means that our box filling inserters need to be the ones which are out from the rail. And our lab filling inserters need to be the one that's close to the rail. So for this to work, has to be there, has to pick up from that box, sorry, has to pick up from that box and it needs to drop there. Obviously this one is fairly straightforward. Okay, so this one is going to have to pick from over and put two forward. This is straightforward. Why can't these things just be simple? Okay, then this one just need to adjust the stop. Yep, and then 
This one. So that's six sciences in from the boxes on this side. All right, let's take away all these green inserters. I'm glad I made them green because otherwise I really wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing. Right, and I actually don't know if this one can be made to reach. So it needs to pick up from there. I think this is something I can do for all three of these. Okay, then this needs to drop two tiles forward. Yeah, okay. I've got the uh, tile debug menu on, on purpose. It's not an accident. All right. Okay, that's a bit far. So, in, 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 in. In, in, in. That's seven. We've got seven of seven. All right, so the next thing is to load... So we've loaded the labs, we need to unload the train. All right. So we have three obvious tiles. Okay, so that's three and this one. All right, so let's see if we can get this consistently correct. So these need to pick up from the train. And that's the case for all of these. Good. Then they need to drop. Okay, so that's three of them done. Four, five, six. And then this was is the one I'm not sure about. So that's picking up from the train and putting on the train. So that can't go there. All right, so what if this went there? So this is going to pick from the train and put in the box. Right, then we need this, which is going to pick, drop. Okay, so I think that's correct. So I think this is our blueprint. Okay, so this is the easy part. <laughs> yeah, honestly, this is the easy part. The complicated part is um, when we come to work out the train supply magic. Okay. There we are. All right. So, bye bye, train. At least it can't run me over. Good. That there. 
we'll put down a request to stop. Okay, so this needs to request in seven types of item. One, two. Can that be there? Yeah. Can't be there. Can't be there. One, two, three. Four, five, six. And I'm not requesting train requesters. Yes, there should be some on the way. Yeah, there are six on the way. Good. Okay. So maybe we can do this. Uh, right, while we're waiting for that, we now have alignments for our... Okay, so let's copy this with a shift, get rid of the rail. Oh, before I do that, we have productivity modules. We are going to use them. All right. We're going to trade more labs for less speed. So now I'm going to blueprint this. I'm going to edit out the rail. Save it there for a moment. That's all right. Uh, right, then we're going to put this down. Now we could put one... Ah, I actually need to make sure that we are loading from the train. Let's put that there. And it's this inserter I'm not quite sure about. Yeah, so that needs to pick from one tile further back. So that it's picking from within the carriage. Brilliant. Okay. So then... Good. Can I craft myself... This is modular armor. It does have an equipment grid. A small one. I wonder if I can get better armor now. Uh, so, crafting... This requires blue. I already have one of these. Alright, so maybe it is time for me to craft myself some kit. Okay, I would like one of these, possibly one set of legs. We don't have blue circuits, so no legs. So I'm going to have one drone port, some tier one batteries, and some solar shield panels. Let's start with 12 of those, then we'll go back to base in a minute. All right, so I want to delete all of this. Good. Okay, and put down one, two, three, four. And so that is 40 labs, and I currently have 32 37 8 9 40 good all right get rid of those i think i'm going to craft myself some armor now because i i want to start actually building things rather than relying on the house bots all the time. So you come to me. I wish there was a um, a better default for the train. Okay, the next horror show is going to be wiring up the circuit conditions. Um, But we'll get that. Good. So, first things first. 
Let's head down towards our batteries build. Ah, that can go. Okay, so batteries are here. Really should have been capped. Let's take two stacks of those. Um, right, back here. So I can make a personal robot port. Couple of those. Um, these take a little while to craft. I'm just going to set up a crafter for those. Uh, so personal. Yeah, so this wants these things. Uh, and. Good, so those should just get crafted. Um, although I may be already crafting them. Okay. Um, yes, we're already making these. All right. Maybe enough. Mm, maybe I want a few more. I'm quite keen to get powered up as far as is practical. Uh, right, what can I trash? Um... Don't need all of these. Uh, right, can I now put a rover port in? Wonderful. Then that gives me room for two batteries. Two Mark One batteries, but you know, that's better than nothing. And then that's room for two more solar panels. One that just needs a Brilliant. Pick that up, right click on my body, put that there. So then, I think... Is this a useful blueprint anymore? Meh. Uh, that certainly is not. Okay. Look at that. I have personal rubber ports. They're completely useless because they're doing a stupid thing, but how awesome. Okay, what shall I trash to make room? Um, brilliant. So we're now going to have issues with my personal inventory overflowing as my personal bots pick up the world. But that's not the end of the world. Um, yes, yeah, so I have a, a Ryzen uh, Generation 7 chip. So it's got eight physical cores and 16 virtual cores and I'm currently running some uh, protein evolution reconstruction simulations and I stupidly hit the use 16 cores option and of course it's going away and using 16 cores which leaves no cores for Factorio. So Factorio is time slicing with something trying to regenerate half a billion years of protein evolution. Hence, it's a little bit laggy. 
Brilliant. So that's built. Um, I need more prob mods. And my trains run away. Okay, so let's set this to... Did I? Did I really? To 100, because I've got a feeling we're going to start using prob mods in builds. Um, right. That doesn't need to be stapled there. I think I can trash these batteries, because I'm not going to be crafting with them now. Good. And then this here is the next thing to sort out. So let's get the whole thing wired. There we are. Uh, then every single one of these needs to have a decider. And again, they all need wiring to the deciders. Now, what's the best way to do this? I think that does the job, doesn't it? Good. Then every single one of these, in turn, needs the outputs wiring together. So now all of the, sorry, all the inputs are now wired together. Then, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Wire that to that. Wire that to that. I feel like I'm doing a CBB's learn to paint. <sighs> all right, then we just need to set up all the logic. Awesome. All right, so uh, the logic's going to be this, essentially the same all the way through. So it's going to be... Pick a science. It's going to be less than. They stacked 200, so, and there are eight spare slots in a chest compared to a train. So that is 16 one hundreds, which is 1,600. We will output one potion. Now, that's probably a really bad idea. Okay, let's have a look at our signals. Do we have signals for each of the colors? For each of the sciences. So we have red, green, Yeah, not really. Not really. Okay. Let's do the sciences 1 through 7. Because it's just going to get too confusing otherwise. So if 1 is less than... Okay. So if there's less than 1.6k of red, output a signal 1. I'm now going to copy paste this across all these combinators uh, and replace the, these in turn with the different sciences. And then we'll go back in a minute and we'll, we will replace the signals. Good, so that's all of that. So then this is one, so this needs to be two.
Okay, so that's one through seven. I don't want to power anything up yet because I don't want to accidentally call in trains. In fact, I can't bear the flushing, so let's... All right. Does that work? Yeah, okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then all of these are going to be set up for active when the train is less than something. So I can set that bit on all of them. And in fact, I can set up a bit more than that because all of them are going to be priority schema wagon. Good. Right, so this is whenever signal one. And we'll just set each of these in turn. I'm trying to be as methodical as possible on this. There we are, so that bit is done. And then this needs to call in a wagon of red signs. This needs to call in a wagon of green. This needs to call in a wagon of military. This needs to call in a wagon of chemical science. This needs to call in a wagon of production science. This needs to call in a wagon of utility science, which used to be high-tech science. This needs to call in a wagon of space science. And a train is on the way. Okay. That's a problem. All right. The reason is, we haven't yet set up the combinators. Okay, so I'm gonna do this with some green wire, just because we have a lot of red wire already about in this build, and I'm starting to go cross-eyed. All right, so we're gonna have a red wire that goes to all the stack inserters, which are unloading the train. Okay, and the wire actually needs to continue on. Right, so I'm just gonna do this manually. I'm aware I could blueprint things, but I have a feeling that's not gonna work very well in this particular case. All right. I need all the green inserters controlled. I don't want the red wire um, linking across for all of the blue inserters. Good, so let's set these up in turn. So this here is going to be enabled disabled when potions is greater than so is there a... So this was less than by default. I think potions is greater than zero is the way forward. Yeah. And I'm gonna copy, I'll copy that in a minute. Yeah. So this is going to be enabled whenever green is greater than zero. Military greater than zero. One, two, three. Space science 
greater than zero. I'm doing the space science on the end because it's a funny one. Blue greater than zero. Purple greater than zero. Gold greater than zero. Let's just double check. Greater than zero. Good. So I think that is all set. Then I can take a blueprint with seven green arms. Hold down shift. I'm going to take out all the blue arms, take out all the rail, take out all the boxes. Good. So that went there. Is that correct? Yes, and it fixed the bug here also, which otherwise would not have been fixed. So we can now reconnect this bit of rail and a train should come in to drop off red potions. Okay, let's see. If this does work, I'll be very, very pleased. This is by far the most complicated build I've done yet. So here comes a red potions train. It's in. It's unloading. Good. All right, so I'm gonna call in my personal train again head back and pick up um, all right so could you please come to here in fact I'll probably be able to jump in behind the red train good because I'm going to I'm going to wait for this to, to unload, then I'm going to go get some more productivity modules and finish off this build. Um, hopefully green science will get called in at some point and we can check that the green science works. This may take a little while to unload. All right, in the meantime, let's go to map view. So this is one block of 40 labs. Um, what I would like to do is basically double it. Okay, so does it fit there? And the answer is yes. It... Thank you. It does. So let's get all the infrastructure down. Um, and can I handcraft labs, or should I be doing this with a machine? So I can do 11. I need 40, so yeah. This is going to take a few minutes. It still has 15K. Okay, it's going to fuel stop one, so it's about to have its coal replaced for solid fuel, which is good. Um, right, what's the next thing? Because I'm really pleased that we've got this going. Um, so we can fit 160 labs in this area. I won't commission 160 immediately, uh, but we have 160. All right, so the next thing is we started on our subsidiary items. Um, so here we're making rail. In fact, let's ghost in a uh, radar so this missing block isn't here. Okay, so this is waiting on steel. It will eventually get steel, but it is waiting on it. 
Uh, and this is waiting on stone of all things. Okay, there may be a stone shortage perhaps. Uh, or maybe this isn't, I don't know. We'll go up and have a look at that in person in a minute. It looks suspicious. Uh, and these aren't named correctly. Okay, so this should be named rail and then the input here is steel and stone plate and then this is hash zero one it's the first rail build so I can copy that and Force blueprint it down over there. That's now build two. All right. Then this here should be iron ore. Build one. There we are. So that's done. All right, so this doesn't have any iron ore. This doesn't have any steel. This doesn't have any stone. This has iron ore. Uh, but nothing got unloaded. Okay, this build is broken. Um in several ways. So we'll go fix that. I think that's the next thing to do. All right, so let's head up to here. Okay, so that should just wait for me when it gets there rather than driving off. Is there some setting for that? Uh, auto save LAN, check for updates, blah, verbose logging, that's not it. Interface, minimap, ticks and tricks, turret radars, outload interactions, UI tooltips, other. Train visualization length, I wanted it five. Train stop, nope. I'm looking for a an option here which lets me control what happens when <sighs> I don't think there is one I wanted an option for when I do a manual train um, to be able to manually configure what it does on a temporary stop but I I'd kind of like to just replace the default for what it does on a temporary start. Okay. So let's double check on our science build. Do I have production modules? Because I, I requested those. Yep, I do. Good. So we can go back later and put those into the build. And this junction from hell is clearing. It's just not quick. So it's going to be among the first things we fix when we're looking at uh, throughput. Good, off we go. Okay, and I'm going to leave the train parked here because it's going to block any incoming trains, which will stop me getting squashed. So this is set up for stone carriages. Good. And these arms are set up to unload on stone. These are set up to unload on steel. This is set up to request a train. 
and that is set up correctly for steel wagons. So I can only think there are, is no steel yet. This is set up to request in ore, and it's doing that correctly. Right, and these don't have an enable condition. And they're not wired. So they're wired to each other, but they're not wired to this box. Okay, so I didn't set up the enable conditions. That's, that'll be what it is. So the enable condition for this is... Um, rail, wherever that is, is greater than zero. Okay, and the, the enable conditions for these is or greater than zero. Okay, so now I can take that Great. So now these are all set up correctly. I'm just going to double check that these are. Yep. All right. So having done that, I'm going to take a blueprint of all of this. Put it down over that. We don't need that. They're still named correctly. And then I'm going to set up the, I'm going to copy paste these individually over. Okay, we're now pulling in a, a stone train. We should be requesting in steel. Iron ore. rail. So fingers crossed, that's what we need. Good. I'm going to flip this into manual mode and just drive above this build. So that we can visually check. Oh! So that we can die. Um, so that we can visually check that it's behaving. Okay, so we've got stone delivered. We've got iron ore delivered at the bottom train station. We have iron ore delivered at the top train station. Good. So the outstanding deliverable is steel. So let's go have a look at our steel build. Get rid of that. I would like to go to... Can't do that. Try again. I would like to go to... Here. and then have the train not run away. All right, so what the hell is going on with this? This is full. We should have requested a train. There's no condition set. Okay, so I want to output one T when iron plate is greater or equal to it stacks to 200, so that is 8,000. Good. Then the schedule is set correctly. Ah, I set the enable condition 
on the train requester rather than on right so I want to enable this when trains are less than T great so first of all I have to do this manually. Well, I could probably do this bit with a blueprint, but I have to do the next bit manually. So I'm just going to walk it. Okay, so that's the top build. And I'm going to zoom right in so that there's uh, as little strain on the CPU as possible. And we're about to have more steel than we can possibly imagine. Okay, copy that schedule. Make sure I paste it over the steel. Okay, and in a moment I'm going to double check this because lamps haven't been coming on and I feel like they should have. So this is set up to call in a steel smelt train when there are fewer trains than T on the way. This is set up to be outputting a T whenever there's more than 8k iron. Okay, it reckons there's four. It only stacks to 100. Okay. That's going to be an issue. And I may have done this in other places as well when I was dealing with steel. All right. So I've probably made a boo-boo here. In a moment, this backlog will clear and we'll be fine. Okay, so we now have steel in the network. Which is awesome. And why is this train waiting? That would tend to indicate I had a signaling boo-boo. Okay, where's this trying to go? Ah, it's trying to go to the same place. Okay, that's not going to go well. Um, Repath you back to empty. You can be called in again. Okay. So, Train Supply Manager has its foibles, but it does mean you don't need stackers, because you only ever pull in trains which you need. Um, however, if you are actively editing stuff, you can accidentally call in multiple trains. Right, so this logic here is probably wrong. We should be calling in a steel train it only stacks to 100, so this is 800. And I need to make sure that's set on the other one. Otherwise, trains will come here and not be able to fully unload. Uh, so it'll either result in a train sat here, perma unloading, uh, or some kind of timing out and horribleness. All right, so that should be done. So we're going to head back to our labs. And I'm going to jump out the train and put in the missing modules. And can I handcraft any more of these? Ten more. Oh, handcrafting green circuits. That's that's yes. No, we're not doing this. 
Okay. So I'm going to head back to Gallifrey after this and grab all the things needed to craft an, a total of 40 laps. Good. Now, what is wrong here? That points to here. But he's not active. What's going on? Are there any other blue inserters which have an activity? Set. No. So what? No idea how that happened. No idea at all. Let's hope it hasn't happened anywhere else. And let's hope that it isn't a blueprinting fail. Although we can do that just to check. Okay, so how many of these do I need? I need 40 in total, but I've got 6, 12, oh, sorry, 10, 11 made. So I need 29. Clearly, the green science hasn't yet built. There may be some fault, because it, it's a bit suspicious that it hasn't built yet. Okay, I was about to hop out, but it looks like the iron train is getting out my way. Good, I should be able to get through in a minute when these have stopped reserving the path ahead of me. Has it decided? Yeah, it hasn't repathed, even though we're at a chain signal. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. It didn't even use that path anyway. Oh well. Uh, right, so I want to make um, 29 laps. Alright. So. Uh, painful to make them by hand, so let's just set up a temporary machine to do it. Alright, what else do I want to do while I'm here? Um, let's have a quick look. Oh, got no rope? No... Radar coverage, so we need to fix that. Um, I'll put one there, although it's not the ideal place. All right, so what's going on with our green science builds? Because they really should have, by now, produced enough. 6.9, so they're still 1k off. They're running full time. Um, yeah, these are running. 7.1. So a train will come in. It's just not going to be any time soon. Do I want to watch these craft? Don't actually know what they stack up to before the machine stops. Okay, five, apparently. Um, okay, so everything here appears to be running at good speed. And let's trash those. Good. So 
So I have 10 labs. I can always end up with an extra lab. It's going to be easier to craft them in threes. Okay, so I'm wondering about upgrading this build to use the next tier of assemblers. And I think that's probably premature. But let's start making the next tier of assemblers. So where are we making the assemblers? Um, there's tier ones. Tier twos. Okay, there's no particular place. And it looks like this got nixed at some point. Never mind. Oh well. Never mind. Uh, right, so... Did I have a blueprint of this? I did. So this recipe is going to be tier 3 assembling machines, which I do not have. Okay, what do I need for that? Ironically, I probably need some research. The very thing I've been dismantling. That didn't work, obviously. Did I used to have a blueprint for this? Yes. That's not the right blueprint. Well, that's just embarrassing. Okay, so it's just automation three I want, and um, that's 150. All right. Let's try, try and make this a little bit less glacial. Luckily I have quite a few labs dotted around my person. All right. This is quite fun, this kind of jury rigging. I, I like it. Ooh, am I out of labs? Yes, I am. And how are we doing? Okay, I think we could be doing better. do we have here? 16. I need more than that. So I need 29. So we still need more. I'm about to contravene some radial symmetry building rule.
I reckon if we don't look at it from map view, nobody will notice. How are we doing? That's better. We're nearly halfway through. This is a total of 20 labs. That's another 6, 26. So one more crafting here will be sufficient. I wonder how much science we have in storage. It might be enough to get a few researches done. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth the hassle or if it's better to just recycle it somehow. Maybe this way. Recycle it this way. All right. Nearly there. All this to get automation three. So if we zoom out again. Right, this will happen. Um, have we managed to craft? Okay, so these are smelting again. These are full. They just want a train. Okay, that's suspicious. Do I have an electric engine's train? No, that could be the problem there. Okay, we need to set up an engine's train. I said electric. I shouldn't have said electric. This is now calling in steel. And no steel has yet arrived. This has had steel. And this is crafting rail. Okay, so why is there no steel? I just want to double check. Has this done any crafting? No. So this has never had a steel train. Um, just get rid of that. So why has it never had a steel train? This is loading up steel. So hopefully that should... Yeah, this is requesting in steel. Not showing up on the map as a, an active request, whereas this one is... Oh, okay. It was a map marker. So what would be really cute, um, dear Mr. Modmaker, is if Logistics Train Manager would uh, colour in stations which are actively requesting things. Um, maybe with the icon of the thing it wants to request, or maybe just a colour. That would be really handy. Um, right, back here. So we've done this. Now, I would like my labs back. So I'm going to cut this and I'm going to request 30 labs. Ah, not 200. Actually, I'm going to quest 29, because that's exactly what I require. And I'm going to dump all of this. Dump this wire. Actually, that wire would have been useful for crafting some green wire. Um, okay. Do I have the labs? Yes, I do. Good. Then walk a long way away. Put that back down. Is that going to connect up power? I think so. Yeah, that's going to connect up power. This will get built out again. Uh, oh, in a minute when... 
I need to copy a capped box. Good. So that will recycle any science which happens to find its way back here via trash, which is useful. So I'm going to now head to here. Good. So that's all built. Really pleased with that. Um, so as and when we actually do some research, it should go quite well. Good. Next job. Okay, so... These engine builds still seem a bit suspicious. So let's go have a look at them. Because uh, I feel like they should have done something. Oh, hang on. Did we decide that the engine builds weren't working because we hadn't got trains? Yeah, we haven't got trains set up, so let's park. Okay, so we've parked here. Right, the first thing we should do is put down just a load of trains. Is this the empty or the full? So I think this can be full. Good. And then I'm going to put in some solid fuel, which should be enough to get them started. Then I'm going to blueprint this with fuel. and put down ah let's put myself on manual So that will get built. Okay, then I want to set the name of this to empty. And I want to add empty circuit condition, go there please. That just gets my train out of the way. Okay, I want this to be called full. Good. Whoa! That was nearly exciting. Um, right, so these are all going to be called empty. And the top one can be empty. Engine unit. Great. And we'll just have one engine unit train for now. Uh, we can always add extra trains if we want them. And then for the sake of symmetry, the end train here is going to be in the 
station full engine unit. Good. Then we can say to this, go to empty engine unit. Where's that? There. Circuit condition. Go to Ah, did I get my empties and my full ran the wrong way? No, full engine unit. Circuit condition. Okay, are there two? Okay, so there was an engine unit train all along. So what is wrong with it? Let's have a look on the map. So I didn't see empty engines is one, two, three, that one. E empty reds, empty engines. So this goes to empty engines, circuits, full engines, circuits. Okay, so that's set up correctly. It's on automatic. So there is an engine unit These are the requester stations. So So that's all set up on there. Do we have a sourcing priority? Maybe that's the problem. I think it is. We don't have a sourcing priority for engine units. Okay, so I jumped to completely the wrong solution. So manufacturer of engine units needs to be empty engines. Okay, now that's active. Right, so that needs to fill. Good. Okay, so then we need... Engines... Train carriage. Full engines. Okay. All right, so we can copy that name over. Copy that name over, so we have empties, fulls. We have all our trains ready to go. And hopefully engines are now being delivered to Blue Science. All right, let's head over here. Now, there's something that's been bugging me for a very long time, which is this car that's parked. There we are, got rid of it. What is the next job? So we're waiting on carriages to be built. This is all done. We need names for them. All right, so this should be Good. Go to the map. Um, lab one. Paste it down. That's now lab two. Brilliant. Really pleased with that. Um, the remaining carriages here are being put down. They're just being manufactured a bit slowly, I think. 
Uh, where's the... I'm just trying to find them. Here. So... It's requesting. There are zero in storage, apparently. Uh, but they are being manufactured, I'm sure. Because it's one of those things I set up. Alright, let's see. This is pipes and boilers and sticks, mining drills, bots, more bot stuff, more bot stuff. Train carriages. Good. All right, that's here. It's just their slow arms. So let's go along here. Upgrade all that. I think we can upgrade all of this as well. All right. We can upgrade that a second time to a stack inserter. That's better. I think the stack inserter arm can be upgraded to a stack inserter. Uh, yep, this probably wants upgrading as well. It's tempting to do them all, but I um, don't think we need to. Definitely want the arms upgraded. Because we use quite a few of those. Um, assembling machine ones. Assembling machine twos. And then the whole point of doing that research was that we were going to do assembling machine threes. Let's head back to Gallifrey. Because I'd quite like to have the option of upgrading all my builds. So we'll, we'll, we will see how practical that is. Um, some of the builds may not go quicker because they are limited by smelting speed. Uh, but if they are, we could add some prob mods into them, which would increase the overall production. Uh, so we'll have a look at that. That might be a job for later once we've built up a buffer of the things. Uh, but we'll see. So we've done quite a lot today. We've got labs rebuilt. We've debugged a bunch of snags with our trains and supplies and things um, so I'm pretty pleased with that all while my machine has been grinding doing my day job okay so I would like to upgrade all this to stack inserters there we go uh, double check that this is upgraded. This is upgraded. Actually, turn off my bots. I want to get rid of this. I want to get rid of the tier 2 machine. Good. What I want to do is build build it properly. So we will have and let's build it somewhere with a bit of space so we can do this how we would like to build it. Alright, so our first machine this is going to make tier 1 assemblers. Alright. This will have a stack inserter from a requester chest for all those sorts of things. This is then going to put into a requester chest and we are going to have a, an arm here which is limited by These machines is equal to zero. So when there are no none of these machines in this box, this arm will work. Then we're going to have a second assembler. This is going to make tier twos. Put that to there. So this is going to request... This shouldn't be a provider chest, should it? This should be a requester chest. That's better. Good, so that's going to prioritise recycling all the tier 1s.
And we want to do essentially the same thing again. So this will output into a requested chest. And we are going to limit this to tier twos equals zero. Then we will have an assembly here which is making tier threes. And all the components for it are going to be requested in here. Okay, and for now, this is going to put into a passive provider. This is going to be connected to the network and is only enabled when these are less than 50. Good. Then we're going to power this up. And I am going to put lights everywhere. That's a train requester. Lights. Good. A little puddle of light. Okay, is there something wrong here? Ah, it's got no belt, because belt isn't actually a thing. Okay. Good. So that should happen now. Next job is to adjust our export rules. So we should be exporting... Right, I want to trash all of these, change my requests over from... Actually, I wanted to keep that. Let's make a new line because uh, I want to make this a bit neater. All right, so this is going to be tier one assemblers, and I want zero of them. This is going to be tier two assemblers, and I want zero of them. This is tier three assemblers, and I want 50 of them. So that is absolutely fine. Then if we head over here, there is a box which exports tier twos to the network. This is now going to request tier threes. Seriously, dudes, fix that UI. Um, pick all of those out. Good. Is there a good reason why these are slow inserters rather than stacks? I don't think there is at this point, is there? So let's just take all of these and make them stack inserters. That's better. Um, I already have 15 of these, so I think we're going to be okay. What I'm going to do is start thinking about upgrading builds, but I want to upgrade them sensibly. Uh, starting with ones which are problems. Alright, so that's where we're up to. I think we've done quite a lot today. Uh, let's have a look. So we've got labs, which at the moment only have green science. Um, oh, I have probably not set the requests request rules for those right so we have a full red science train we do not have a full green science train yet yeah um, we have a broken military build
Um, so, we need to go fix whatever is wrong with that. Um... Because this to me looks like it's done. It's actually calling in a red train. So something is wrong with this build. Similarly with bricks. It's wanting to dump bricks. But bricks have not made it here. So we have issues with trains. I'm, I'm probably going to fix all that off camera. Because it's going to be boring snagging. Uh, yeah. So then all our basic builds should be running. Uh, this now has sulfur. It was requesting... Oh, this one has engines. This one, the schedule is not set correctly. I'm presuming. Uh, this one's requesting red circuits. That seems to be our bottleneck. So I'll go around and fix that as well. Engines are now actually serving up. Uh, here's a train filling with engines. Uh, our rail build. Um, I'm just looking how many products. Zero products finished. So something is not right here. Um, I'm thinking steel has never come in for whatever reason. But steel has come in here. So I, again, I'll go and have a look at why that might be. And I, it's just going to be a bit of running around looking at individual builds, which you don't need to watch me do. And then all the basic stuff should be up. Our first four sciences should be up. Then next time we can start on our getting our fifth science going, which is going to depend upon red circuits, because that's what this is really waiting for. And then we can do the sixth science after that, and then we should start being able to do interesting research. Well, thanks very much for watching. It's really slow paced, but I'm enjoying this pace of build. Um, if you're enjoying it too, please let me know in the comments, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.